of crisis, talking about anything and everything that may come up, including your mama. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the show. It's not too bright and early anymore. Well, I lost my way, don't know, don't know where to Been searching for the truth so long, I can't remember who I am. Well, that big old sun still burning high over this cool hot place where I see. Around me was a fire of rage and my heart's bleeding tears. People running and shouting in the streets, people chained with fear. Every crosses they carry, see them dragging in the sand, right where I stand. Nice. Woohoo! Good morning. That was great. Good morning, folks. This is the Midlife Crisis Show. I'm Anthony. That's I'm Scott. Not... Sorry. That's and that okay. guy that guy over there playing the harmonica. Not sure if you guys know him. What's uh right what what's his name again? What what's his name? Ryan Van what? Van Winkle? Uh, Van what? I don't know. Van Van Cycle? What? <laughs> Ryan Van Sickle, he's joining us today on the Midlife Crisis Morning Show. Hey, Ryan. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for having me. Thanks for showing up this early. Hell yeah. It, it, you know, you know what? It's 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 the latest. Eleven o'clock is the latest we can go and still call it a morning show. Yeah, yeah, true. One one more hour and it's the afternoon. Well, if we were in California, we could go another three hours before eleven o'clock or whatever, right? That's that's true. That's so true. We could lie and say we're on the West Coast. <laughs> just saying. But, there, but, right? Yeah, but we don't lie. We don't lie here on the Midlife Crisis. Hashtag just saying. <laughs> just saying. <laughs> men, men, men don't lie to other men. We don't. We don't lie. No, we no, lie no. to women and children, but not to not to other men. Absolutely. Kids, you will be good looking when you get older. That's right. <laughs> I just wanted to let him know over there that I was lying a little bit. <laughs> so what's going on, Ryan? How's it going this morning? Feeling Everything good? Going great. It's nice. Awesome. It's a beautiful day here, and uh, spring, you know, spring is in the air. You could definitely, you could definitely smell it and feel it from now. That's absolutely. You know what I saw last night was a fly, and I was like, <laughs> oh, God. You know, you know winter's over when you start seeing flies. You know, what, what or, I, or, or it's time to clean. 
when I lived in New York City, you could always tell when spring was coming because that's when you start to smell the dog piss. <laughs> that's true. Because <laughs> it'd be that's warming true. up. <laughs> yeah, people get too lazy to like keep them inside on their wee wee pads. They start taking that's them out. That's warming up outside. <laughs> smell, I, the smell of piss is in the air. Yeah, that's that, that's a really bad smell. I hate the smell of pee. <laughs> the smell yeah. of piss. That wakes you up, though. I'll tell you, walking to work at uh, in New York City, smelling oh, yeah. all the the piss and the garbage. And <laughs> I don't know. I I grew up I grew up in the projects in Brooklyn, and we had mice and roaches year round. You didn't have dog. You didn't have dog year, and you had like dog yeah, talking. We had mouse, mouse poop. You guys ate dog. God damn it. We all do. We, we all eat dog and cat, whoever eats Chinese food anyways. Yes. When you're walking down the street and you're seeing the garbage bags moving, you know, bump, bump, oh. <laughs> the rats inside the bag. <laughs> I hate rats and mice. Oh, my God. I hate them so much. They make me cringe. I, I was on a run one night on the East River. I was going for a run, and a rat ran right across and, st and like <laughs> stuck to my foot, like clamped onto my foot. It was just, it was the, the scariest thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have screamed like a girl. I would have been out of my shoes so fast. It would. Oh my god. Yeah, I was. I was telling somebody the other day that um. She 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 saw a mouse. Uh, I live in Connecticut now, and she saw a mouse in a woodsy area, and she was like, "Why are there mice here?" And I said, "Well, this." I said, "Those those are just field mice. They they run away from you. If you go to New York, they're they're ready to they're ready to throw down. They do battle. They many size route right. Right. That's right. If you if you walk towards them, they're walking towards you. That's not a possum. That's a rat. That is a rat. <laughs> Talk about some inspirational. Uh, Conversation here for a song, Ryan. That's, yeah, right. That's right. Maybe you can write a song called Ratatouille. <laughs> Ratatouille. Didn't uh, Smashing Pumpkins write that? Actually, they did, actually. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they did. All right, we'll have to change that title. <laughs> Just kidding. Ryan, I'm in love with your album, dude. Oh, thank you. It's freaking I'm, I'm awesome. not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I, I don't know if you, well, actually, you did see my post, but. Uh, those of you who didn't see my post, Ryan Ryan gave me a, um, an autographed copy of a CD when I saw him in New York. Which and brings I, me wait, wait, which brings me to another conversation real fast. How Anthony always gets things for free. <laughs> Hashtag well, Anthony gets things for free. Next, go ahead. Well, well, I kind of I kind of earned it though. I, I was helping out. I was helping out. So that, well, it was well, nice of him. And, and I, I wasn't helping out to get anything in return. He just he just gave it to me. Which you know what I did? I, I paid for that coffee in Ryan's hand by buying it on iTunes. <laughs> nice. I feel I feel bad, Scott, because you took some great pictures. I'll, I'll ha I'll, you give me your address. I'll send you one in the mail. Ah, uh, we'll get the, we'll get the next one. We'll get the next one. Well, I am yeah, we'll playing a show one. in New York in May. So. I'll be at that uh -oh. show. <laughs> I'll is be it at a, that show. Is it a house concert? No, it's a, a it's at uh, Googie's Lounge again. Oh, nice. Yeah. May might be able to go to that stuff. Huh? Cool. Cool. So, so anyways, like, like I was saying with my post, he gave me, he gave me an autographed copy of his, of his CD, but I still felt the need to actually purchase it. So I went on Google Music and purchased it. Oh, wow. because thank you so much. And, hey, and, like, and, so thank you. It's no. only because he couldn't figure out how to convert it to his iPod. Or That's his right. <laughs> too much. I, couldn't get into, I couldn't get into my Google Music, so I said, damn it. Don't, don't kid yourself, Ryan. He did it because he couldn't get it onto his freaking Android. <laughs> no, but it, it, it's, it's worth the buy. And also, like I said in my post, you know, as a fellow artist, you want to support, you know, other artists that you know. Absolutely. So why not? Especially on Google Plus, right? Absolutely. Yeah, especially on Google Plus. This is, this is a tight-knit community Yeah. here on, here on Google Plus. Google Plus. So uh, we like to talk about a couple of things here on the show, right? Right, Scott? Yes, absolutely. What do we like to talk about? Uh, absolutely. Uh, we, celebrity. Celebrity news. Let's go into celebrity news. And uh, Ryan, you can celebrity. chime in wherever you feel the need to. Celebrity news. Actually, celebrity. no. Actually, Ryan, Ryan has celeb some celebrity news. I forgot. But we'll, we'll, we'll wait for that one. Absolutely. So Justin Timberlake and Jessica Biel are apparently engaged. What can, we, what can we call them? Can we call them like uh, Teal or like Timberbeal? Uh, Tim, Timberbeal, yeah. Timberbeal? 
Bimber Lake. Bimber Lake, yeah. Yeah, uh, no. <laughs> Who knows? Justica. Uh, no. Well, apparently, apparently they were they were trying to hide it and they were under the radar. But uh, he she, he he bought her a, a gigantic rock of a of a ring. So she's pretty hot. I didn't know they were dating. She's very hot. You know, I what my Jessica my Bell. favorite part of Chuck and Larry is when she's in a bra and she's all wet. And and, mm-hmm. and Adam Sandler is playing, pretending he's gay, and he gets to feel them that they're real, yeah. you know. And uh, <laughs> that guy's that guy's lucky on so many levels. Yeah, I, I and I mean, come on, he 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 had something to do with the writing of that movie, so. You think when he found out uh, she was in it, he course. was probably like, of course he wrote that in. Let me feel her boobs in our movie. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Yeah. Uh, what else? What else? What else we got? Oh, uh, for some reason. Um, some people felt the need to report that Miley Cyrus is uh, going around shopping without a without a bra on. Is she over eighteen yet? She has a she has a shirt. She has a shirt. She's not going uh, naked. But um, how old is she? She now? is braless. She is over eighteen, so you then, can make you can make inappropriate comments. Then I am going to try to find those pictures. I will screen share right now. I would Actually, like to. I would like to touch the honey. Um. Where I, is yeah. it? I've got a it mental is. image of that, actually. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> Why am I on this show again? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. Ryan's hey, here. Ryan. Ryan's here, guys. <laughs> so, we'll, 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 we'll get to you in a minute, Ryan. No, that's Relax. not what I meant. That's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> no, he meant holy um, mackerel. Oh, man. Why don't, or don't don't worry. Mind. You know, Never mind. I don't have a picture. You talk about celebrities, and you, you wonder what they think. You, you think they sit around and go, "Why do they? Why do these people care so much about what we do?" It's it's out of control. You know what? We wouldn't talk about it if everybody else didn't care. And it's I don't know why people care about it. Um, to me, they're 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 just people that are that are entertaining us. Sure. And. Uh, Mm-hmm. You know, it's pop culture, though, you know. Oh, yeah. I, you know, I, I feel terrible because a lot of these people get into the public eye and, and they don't uh, they don't deserve it for things that we do every day. We'll make mm-hmm. a mistake every once in a while. And Holy mackerel, look at the side boob on that. Yeah, not not, not bad. You were, you were saying earlier that she doesn't have any, but check uh, you that You know out. what? I guess it was just because I was trying not to look at Hannah Montana. But uh, then you... Oh. But, but then you found out she's 18 and uh and I found well, out over over 18 excuse me over 18 and it's okay it's okay she's uh, not she's, she's 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 working with something there she's not she's not bad oh yeah she well she's got more than Taylor Swift <laughs> that's not saying too much but oh boy <laughs> all right let's let's get those out of here yeah. no but seriously you, though, you know like we we could we could jaywalk and nothing would be said but if like Somebody famous, Cameron Diaz jaywalks, she'll get a ticket and it'll be all over the news. And then somebody will be like, yo, Cameron Diaz was jaywalking. Wait, Cameron Diaz smoked a J? And then it'll just keep on <laughs> turning into a spiral out of control. Yeah, yeah the... the uh, to where Cameron the Diaz, she won't remember what she did wrong and she'll make a public apology for like all these things she had no idea. Right. Speaking, of, speaking, it's, speaking of joints, uh, segment. Matt Robertson, the televangelist, if you read, it was all over Google Plus yesterday that he approves the use of marijuana. <laughs> he said it should you know be legalized, what? such as alcohol was legalized. I agree. Agreed, Pat. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> I mean, why? Why not? How, how, how do you feel about that, Ryan? About uh, marijuana oh, being legalized? Come on, it's just, it's just ridiculous. It's it's like I mean, I think his whole claim was that it's filling up prisons and. You know, people are being put in prison for, you know, carrying a, a half an ounce of the substance. I mean, come on, really? Mm-hmm. It's talking about it's we get over that, you know. You're talking about something that is starting to be used to treat medical problems and right, you right. Know. I mean, it, it, it's been used medicinally for centuries. Right, right. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's just it's just a matter of time before it becomes legal. Uh, if you ask me, I mean, and and I don't I don't actually buy it or smoke it uh, mm-hmm. any, any longer. It, it, back in the day in college and high school, sure, I I messed around with a little bit of that. But um, 
if you make it legal, it's just going to be expensive. And <laughs> it's just going to be harder to get, you know, and afford. So as far as legalization, yeah, the idea is good. But look what cigarettes are. What are they like? Somewhere between 6 and $10 a pack? Yeah. How much are you going to pay for, like, one joint, you know? <laughs> like, and, and, and those are actually worse for you. Exactly. So and and they and that's legal. And imagine the tax they could put on marijuana. Holy crap! A dime bag would be like two hundred dollars. Like what? Can you imagine though how can you imagine how, how calm America would become? <laughs> <laughs> it would be so laid back. You know what? It's not a bad thing to legalize it because you'll forget what you bought and how much you spent. <laughs> like, wait, how much did I just spend just now? I'm so high. Seven Eleven would be uh, there'd be Seven Elevens on every corner. If that was yeah, it would be it would be it would be Four Elevens. Is, is, is that is that is that the number? Is that the is that you know the marijuana what? number? Four Eleven. Here's here's an interesting thing. If they legalize it. People could grow it in their house, mm -hmm. and they could smoke their own weed, like growing, you know, herbs in the backyard. You know, we have some herb, herbal plants, and, and, and my mother-in-law has, like, a whole thing of, you know, basil and all that crap, and, like, you, you just put some marijuana in there, and you just learn how to process mm -hmm. it yourself. Now, that's the good thing about legalization, other than, you know, I mean, you could buy it in the store, but... You could grow it yourself, which would be pretty. Well, I don't. I don't think. I think that would probably still be illegal because the government can't make money off of that. Right. Well. Well. That's what I'm saying. Like, if they if they legalize it and make it just uh you know an herbal substance like tea, mm -hmm. you know or, yeah. or whatever, then uh then who the hell else? Well, you could buy it still. It's still going to be in your grocery store. Well, I don't know where. It be. <laughs> I don't know. If it'll I, be in. I, I would love to see it in Walmart. It would be awesome if they had it like like BJ's where like you go in and they have like samples of like brownies <laughs> and stuff. Like here's a sample yes. of our, mm. our, our yummy. Uh, <laughs> you go you go to Whole Foods in the bulk section. You can take you know. <laughs> I'd like a brick of, right. your, of your Hawaiian tie, please. Please, thank you very much, thank you, sir. <laughs> Yeah, over here, over here in Connecticut, I'm, I'm sure they do this all over the country, but um, they they actually cut down on on arrests because if you're caught with a with a certain amount, then they don't they don't do anything. They just let you go. Yeah, it's silly. They so, just I mean, they take you. They just give it to us. No, they don't even take it. They don't even take it if it's a certain amount. They just let you go. Happy as long as it's not, buddy. Get out of my. I, I, Get out of here. Give me your as word. long as it's, if it's not a large amount, they can't really prove that you, you're distributing, you know? Nor could they prove that they took it. That's true. <laughs> Fair point. Fair. You know why, you, now you know why cops always have the munchies and are at Dunkin' Donuts. Because <laughs> they're stealing your weed. That's right. Eric, er, er, Erica Stahoski said, uh, um, how long does it take three guys to get on the topic of boobs? Five minutes. <laughs> it, no, it, 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 it did. It did take about five minutes for us let, to get let's to that. Let's not include Ryan in that. I feel bad because he he didn't get on that topic. Yeah, he did. He, he's innocent. He's innocent. We, here. we totally jumped on that topic, and we That's would probably right. still be on it if Ryan wasn't in the room. That's right. right. <laughs> it, it, would, it would. That would probably take up the show. <laughs> that, that Why would, not? That would. We would just Why? show pictures of boobs and try to guess whose they were. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> we should do a show dedicated to that. Oh man, whose boobs are those? It'd be like those are Ryan Van Sickles. That's nope, right, Miley Cyrus. <laughs> well, let's uh, let's 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 move on. Mm -hmm. let's, let's move on. Let's let's talk about let's talk to Ryan a little bit. Let's ask him some let's questions. Talk to Ryan. Let's do a little. What do you think? Are you ready for that? Still let's, let's do a little Q and A. Are you uh you ready for the rapid fire? That is the Q and A. We got lots of questions, so we're gonna try to keep it. We'll, we'll try to keep it fast. Sure. But not your answers. Our questions will be fast. We'll read them like speeding, speeding light reading. Now let's just start from the beginning here. Anthony, you wanna go first? Or you want me to go first? Um, you know what? Let me ask. Um, what's what's the what's what's your favorite song on your album? Fast. <laughs> he had that he's, like, for you he's like he's like he's like all uh, uh probably probably uh the most personal is uh, take it as it comes the last song um any any, a, any any reason any reason oh if you feel like get, if you play getting into it are, all the songs are personal but that's right. really per i mean that's the straight from the heart the soul of that song so and I get that feeling through every song that you write, actually. 
which is which is slow. the sign of a good songwriter. Oh, well, that's good. But yeah, that's <laughs> probably that that song itself is probably my favorite. That's awesome. Cool. I like that cool. song a lot, along with all the other ones. I'm just gonna jump in and say, Ryan, when when did you start when did you start playing? When did you start like uh, and why? Um. Well, if you go to my website, you can read all. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm asking this question for our viewers. <laughs> uh, well, I was working at a university uh, at a time. You know, when I was a kid, I was influenced, uh, uh, you know, by music. It was always on in the house. I didn't play uh, guitar or anything. Uh, I took some lessons on piano when I was young, but I gave that up pretty quick. But I was working at a university in like 2002, and uh, I befriended a custodian there. And to make a long story short, he collected guitars, and I talked so much. I talked talk to him one day. We were talking, and just uh, I said, uh, you know, I'd love to teach myself how to play guitar. And then the next day, uh, there was a guitar on my doorstep. Oh, that's awesome. That's so, uh, great. Yeah. So. Uh, Slowly taught myself how to play and started writing, you know, seriously. And after 2003 is really when I got started in 2005, 2006. And then 2008, I started writing for the album because I felt like my writing skills were progressing to that point. And then uh, 2009, I started recording and put out the album last uh, 2011. Yeah, it's a it's a long process. So it's, it's a long process. Um, is that Shiloh? No, uh, yeah, Shiloh and Gibson. I think Shiloh's trying to hump, which is funny. Ryan, speaking of humping, he she is trying to hump him. So I thought that was interesting. Guys, cut it out. Go lay down. We'll take care of that. Nip that in the bud. Shiloh's trying to nip Nate in the bud. Um, so uh, Anthony, do you have a question? Um, I, I I love I'm a big fan of the of the writing process. I I, I love writing. Um, when when I listen to a, when I listen to music, I always listen to the writing. Like a lot of people, they if they like a beat, they they rock, they bop to it, and that's all they need. But I need a little I need a little bit of substance. You know what I mean? So like when you what, what's what's your writing process like? You know, like like when when I write, it takes it takes me a long time to actually um, go and write a full song. Sure. From from start uh, to finish, it might take me like three or four weeks. Really? Yeah. That's because you're hooked on phonics, though, right? Fair point. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just saying. I mean, I'm just playing. Hashtag. Just. Some, sometimes it does take that long. Oh, hello. Uh, Sometimes it uh, it does take that long. Uh, you know, mm -hmm. it's, it could take longer than three weeks. You know, there's some there's a song on my album that took you know 20 30 minutes to write. And, mute, uh, mute yourself, uh, Scott. Good point. <laughs> okay, go ahead. And, Sorry. Uh, no, no, and uh, so you know, some it, 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 I don't have a, a specific process or formula. Um, if I'm inspired, I'm inspired, and right now I'm kind of in that spot. Where I'm, 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 I had a lot of songs written. I don't have any music to them. I just there's a lot on paper. I just don't have any music. And uh, sometimes it, you know, it uh, juices aren't flowing, but uh, you know, they come around. And see, that's that's one of the hardest things I have found as a songwriter myself. Um, if I would write something without playing the guitar to it and and coming up with a tune with it at the same time, I would always have a harder time putting music to it. I, I, you know, for me, uh, you know, I used to play in a band with my brother, and when he would write a song, for me, I never felt it as much when I would write music to that, as opposed to sitting down with my guitar and, and, and my, well, now my laptop used to be pen and paper, uh, you know, and start typing, and, and if, if I don't do those two things at the same time, it never comes out right. Usually, my, my tune will be on my guitar first before I start writing the lyrics, and, and, yeah. you, and you write your lyrics first, is that... Or do no, you do it, it, you mix around? Yeah, I, back and forth, sure. Yeah. Sometimes, but, you know, sometimes when you get a, a, a melody in your head for the particular song, and it doesn't work, it's hard to try to 
I, 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 some people don't have a problem with it, but I have a problem with finding another melody if I already hear one in my head. So I kind of throw the song aside and then maybe come back to it and start fresh and, and, and hopefully hear something different. Yeah, yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah, it takes it takes me a while to write. I I, I um work with some people now that um they'll they'll call me and they'll say come down come down and record something for us and I have to come up with something like that sure. like on the spot and I've I've done it but I feel like a, a song would I feel like the song would be so much better if I had some time to actually sit down like I I'll, I'll listen to a track over and over and over and over and over. Yeah. Until I get something, I, I don't like just writing off the cuff like that. You were you were saying uh, you were saying like four weeks sometimes it takes you. Yeah. If, if I don't if I don't complete a song in like a couple of days, I forget where I was going with it. <laughs> like, wait, what was this about? And it, it'll go from like happy go lucky talking about my my baby to like mm-hmm. I want to kill myself. It's raining for days, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, wait, this song is not working. And then I have to start over. I, I can never, like, because your, well, just, just, your mood just changed. Well, a great, a, a great tool for a writer is to, to, to have is uh, some kind of voice memo, uh, like voice recording. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And if, and if you come up with something, because I'm, I'm sure we've all had, had some great hooks that we came up with in the car, and then we get home and we're like, shoot. What was that? What the well, hell was it? You know, I know you guys on your phone, uh, you guys have the, uh, you know, the new technology, but on my flip <laughs> phone, if I, if I have something, <laughs> I flip open my phone and I hit the record and I'll whistle into it or hum into it. Or something. I used to call myself and <laughs> sing to my phone so that I'd have it on voicemail. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll work. That's what that Ryan, much time. Ryan still does that. I used to do that back in the day, right? After, <laughs> right go. after my beeper, you know? <laughs> There it is. Look at that flip phone. What's yeah, that? A start? What's that? A star tech? Yeah. <laughs> Some Sanyo thing. I don't. <laughs> the dinosaur. You, he, he's like, it, it works. That's all he it needs. Works. When, when that when that opened, it creaked like a wood floor. <laughs> <laughs> so Any so uh, what's that, Anthony? No, go ahead. Go ahead. It's your it's your turn. Ryan, do you remember the first tune you learned how to play? I know it's it's kind of a crazy question, but uh, I was just curious. Yeah, like uh, I learned, uh, "You Are My Sunshine." Really? My gra- my grandma used to play that on her guitar and sing to me all the time, and it's just something that when I picked up the guitar, it's three chords. So. Yep, I always think of uh, of Neil Diamond singing that in the Jazz Singer. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. That's cool. Wow. That's awesome. You are my, maybe you'll sing that for us later. Yeah, I can. Get... <laughs> you want you want you want to you want to jump into something now before we ask you any more questions? Anthony, I would love to hear a song now. What do you think? Gonna, oh, I thought we were going to talk about something else. <laughs> are you, well, right. If you're not ready, we could we could segue into something. Yeah, else. if you're not ready. Oh it's, no, I'll, it's, I'll, it's I'll cool. play it. No, you don't have to play that song, but I would love to hear I would love to hear a song. Are you are are you are you taking re? Is he playing some? I don't know. Am I taking? Are you taking requests? Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I think Scott want Scott wanted to hear something. Hell yeah, I want to hear something. Um, let's see. I can't decide because just in case you don't pick the other one that I like. All right, give me give me give me some uh, when we were young. Is that cool? Yeah, I can do that. I won't play the whole thing because the show's only an hour long and the song. That's is cool. <laughs> That's cool. Whatever you want to play it, man. I love that song. That song's so good. Remember when we look up at the mansion on the hill? Dream of living forever. We could make time stand still. We were unafraid and reckless. The candle to the wind when we were young. Where we run through fields of green by day, chase the stars by night, fight the grip of weariness, all our might. 
Lie awake and let the cool summer breeze sweep across our face. We were young. We were young and still believed in love. And had faith in all the promise. Words slipped into our hands when we were young. That's a short version. Oh, nice. Man. It's too short. I love that song. Too short. Who? Where, where's too short? He's a rapper, right? Too short. I I, I gotta say this, Ryan. I've heard a lot of people um, like uh, studio albums, and then I hear them live, and they sound like crap. You sound great live. Oh man, I, I am so upset that I didn't get to see you when you when you played at Googies on the Herald. I just could not get. I could not get in. I can't believe I just said the word "googies," um, and hurl and hurl in the same sentence. <laughs> where'd you go, hurl? Where'd you hurl last night at googies? I I wouldn't. You, Scott, you ever have you ever thought when you were when when you were a kid that you would be saying "googies" and "hurl" in the same sentence? <laughs> I can't say that I did. Yeah, me neither. Me neither. But. but I know that Ryan just got excited when we said that because that was a lifelong dream of his to say those right. two things. <laughs> I, I think you should write a song. I sound like a country song. Like, Goobies, Goobies and Girl. That's awesome. Um, yeah, that song is just is just so good. You know, I didn't I didn't get to see you live, but I, I did catch a, a performance on YouTube that I saw. It's just one of my favorite performances I've, I, I've actually ever seen. And it was of when we were young, and it was, uh, I don't know where you were. It looked like a, like a really nice living room. Um, oh, that was a house show I did, yeah. Oh, my God. It was, it was like part seven of nine. I, I watched them all, but, God. Seven of nine? Star, Star Trek? Seven of nine? <laughs> Jerry Ryan? Four. <laughs> oh, it was like nine parts. It was, it was awesome. It was, just, it was just really, it was really good. Oh, really but, good. By the way, Ryan, um, Heather's watching. She said, "Play the whole song." Damn it! <laughs> the next, the next song he does is gonna be a whole song. I don't care what. He I, says. I, I added the damn it. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Heather would say damn it. <laughs> yeah, she did. She did, but I added it. Fun, fun fact for you guys at home: Heather li probably lives like five minutes away from me. You guys should collaborate, dude. Yeah, we actually found that out at the hurl. Like at what? At, at Googies? At, 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 at goob, Goobies. At, at Googies. Goobies. Yeah. Googies. 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 <laughs> at Googies. Yeah. She, she lives in the same town, so she's some. She's somewhere around. Let's see if I can look out my window. No, she's not there. But she's she's somewhere around. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be creepy if she was like in there and like she yeah. was like sliding her head like in the back of the window. Right. And I'm on the third floor, so that would be really creepy. <laughs> she's like. <holding laughs> that would be amazing, out. actually. I can see you. <laughs> we got We got actually. We have a lot of people um, watching. Uh, Bron Bronwyn is back, uh, Scotty. Bronwyn. Bronwyn, Bronwyn McCuggan. Bronwyn. I, Love yeah. that name. I, I, Eileen McAllister, Charles Hodge, uh, Erica Stahowski, Damian Lee, Benoit, bunch of people. Jared, Jared Meckham. I, I, I think you, you, you know that guy, right, um, Brian? He, he, yeah, he plays and he plays and sings too. New artist to, to Google Plus, yeah. Yeah, he plays the ukulele. He's pretty good too, he, and he yeah. sounds good. He sounds good live as well. Speaking of the ukulele, I uh, I saw a video yesterday of, of William H Macy, the actor, mm -hmm. and and this girl from Scrubs. Her name was Gooch on Scrubs, and they were doing a song called like like uh, Get Laid or or I Want to Get Laid or something. It was awesome. <laughs> they were both playing the ukulele, and they were just like, yeah, you know. that was kind of like Paul McCartney actually. There you go. Let me throw another some some more people out. Blaine, Blaine, Hell, Jay, Sal, and Calvin are watching. Uh, Scotty. What? Breakfast Rob, Rob, McKay, Rob McKay and of course Heather's watching as well. Um, Jay, Jay, Sal has a has a question, Ryan. Sure. For you, um, it's it, it it's a funny question actually. It's not a serious question. But That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but he 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 posted it publicly, so I'm gonna ask. And don't and don't take offense. This, this is just fun. Why is it, he, he said, why are his eyebrows so high right now? Is that helping him sing? <laughs> who, who posted that? Did, did he say that while Jay he was Sal. singing? Jay Sal. 
Oh, because it's funnier than that. When I was doing a concert, somebody somebody mentioned, "You have great eyebrows when you, <laughs> you go all over the place." <laughs> I call them my dancing eyebrows. And I thought, that's right. Okay, well, that's all I'm going to be thinking about now is my eyebrows. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Try to see with no expression on your face. Well, I mean, the thing is, well, 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 your eyebrows are able to show every emotion. Yeah. You know, they, they, and and when you're singing, you have to show emotion. Right. Or, or you should, you should be feeling emotion already, anyways. If, if, if you, if you're, you know, any type of singer, I believe, you know, when, when you're singing, you should feel the song and, and believe what you're singing. I'll work on taming my eyebrows. <laughs> no, dude, that that's you, man. Oh, no, you got that's you. eyebrows. <laughs> it's like it's it's like the guy from Boys to Men, Juan Ye, the the big one, the one that he he rocks his head all over the place when he's doing riffs, but he sounds great. Boys to Men, I couldn't watch that guy. I felt like I was gonna go into convulsions watching that guy. I and saw them in concert. Saying um, his name was even harder. <laughs> Juan Ye Morris. I actually saw Boys to Men in concert in July at the Mohegan. Of, of course you did. Well, I saw him in Mohegan Sun, and it was free, Scott. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> but they did a very well. There's only three of them now, but they did a really good job, and and it, it was a free concert for everybody. It wasn't just wait, wait, what happened? The boys to men. Is it one man become a boy again? Why is there only three now? No, nah, no. Nah, he has he had the, the the bass guy. He had like back problems or something, so he couldn't really. Uh, he has he was sick, so he couldn't be in the group anymore. But 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 the three were up there. They they did old stuff, new stuff. They were up there for about two and a half hours. I was surprised. I thought it was gonna wow. be like a like a 45 minute show because it was free. That's a lot of boys yeah. to men. Yeah. Well, I, I'd imagine they they did get paid by Mohegan Sun, but, <laughs> but of course they did. <laughs> they 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 put on a really good show. They did they did some old Motown stuff. It was great. Yeah. I really I, liked that. I wish I wasn't there. Oh wait. wait. Yeah, I'm I'm actually glad you weren't there. I hate your face. You know what? I actually I, I liked boys to men in the 90s. And then I forgot they were alive in the in the in the two thousands. Uh, yeah. not me. That that that's how I started singing. You're for the for project. Yeah. That, yeah, that's true. We, we were talking that's, about that in New York City, Anthony. All those old band, all those yeah, Jodeci yep. and uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh gosh. Who, who there were a lot of there were a lot of people out back then. Uh, one one twelve. Uh, oh, that's it. Yeah. They were they were good. <laughs> Yeah, there were a lot of people out. Yeah, yeah I would, I, I, that's that's terrible. I, I I think I think it's time for for boys to men to move on to Vegas though. They should just Dude, settle down, you know, settle, settle settle down in Vegas with Celine Dion and those guys are gonna be touring yeah. with like the Backstreet Boys soon. Backstreet Boys went on tour. They had a big tour with with New Kids on the Block. I'm sure you got free tickets. No, New I almost did. Kids on the Block. Oh boy, there you go. My wife went to that show actually. New Kids on the Block have the right stuff. <laughs> and they were hanging tough, dude. They were. They were. <laughs> I bet you you were their cover girl. God oh, damn it. God. God damn right. Yo, I have, a, I have some more questions for Ryan. Let me, let me just jump cool. into this. Um, jump on it. One jump of the what, questions what, 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 was, uh, Ryan, what, what's like your, uh, your favorite band, your go-to band, something that, you know, you, you can't get enough of? Uh, well, my first album, I mean, well, Johnny Cash is one. Um... Bob Dylan, Lucinda Williams, um, but probably Springsteen is my go-to. I mean, that was the first album I ever bought. I was just a kid. I mean, is there a better song than Thunder Road? Yeah, that's a great song, but I think you know that's a that's definitely a, a uh, you know one of his you know more born famous. Born is born to run. <laughs> I mean, uh, born in the USA. You know, everybody knows those. You know. Uh, Thunder Road was so good. Uh, he's just fantastic. He's just fantastic. You know, I saw Bob Dylan live actually out here on Long Island, um, probably about ten years ago. And at the, at the Newport, at the Newport Folk Festival. No, it was actually uh, it was at Southampton College. Oh, wait, that's Connecticut. Yeah, it's Connecticut. Yeah, that's, that's where Anthony lives. It's okay. New York, Connecticut, same difference, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, he was uh, he was playing out there. It was like a benefit every year that they that they did for the college. And uh, we got to go to it for free, actually. Cool. Um, I, I'll tell you that I did not know a word that he was saying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, so <laughs> I, when, <laughs> when, when you say Bob Dylan, I'm thinking you're talking about like 
pre-traveling Wilburys, Bob Dylan. <laughs> no, I, 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 you know, he's a love him or you hate him. I mean, that's it. People love him or they hate him. There's no in between. Them. I just want to understand him. <laughs> it's kind of like hanging out with your wife for the evening. Like, I just really don't know what she's saying. What is Bob saying? What's well, he trying to tell me? You know, I think if you if you know his his song, you know all most of his songs are ten minutes long. If you know all the words, <laughs> yeah. then if if you see him live and you know all the words, he can mumble them all he wants. You know yeah. <laughs> that's true. The old songs I knew, but when he sings stuff, I, I you know new stuff. I was like, I look at my wife I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. What just happened? Wait, what? Yeah. What? That's what everybody says that you know. But, he doesn't uh, care. He doesn't care. He doesn't even know where he is. <laughs> Why am I on the stage with my guitar right now? <laughs> <laughs> Where am I? Hey, right, I the, got show that, the show that never stops, though. The guy never stops touring. No, it, he's, uh, he can't remember why he started. That's why. That, that's, <laughs> Will, Willie Nelson said the day he stops touring, he'll die. So I'm sure Bob Dylan feels the same way. Yeah, I'm sure. Bob Dylan is actually dead, actually. I don't know if you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> he just doesn't know it. <laughs> kind of like Keith Richards. Yeah. yeah. That guy is a, a, a marvel. No, he's just, he's, he's just a zombie. I don't know how that guy is still breathing, smoking, <laughs> playing the guitar. No, no, Bob, Bob, Bob Dylan, is, is, that the, is that his son that's in um, the Google Flowers? Dolls? No, Wallflowers, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Jacob, Jacob. Dylan. Yeah, okay. what, he's, 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 a, he's pretty good too. Oh, he's an incredible he's an incredible songwriter. I mean, obviously, yeah. you know, you got the genes there with his dad. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah. I mean, talent. the guy made it on his own without his dad's help and through the Wallflowers, and, and he's pretty remarkable. Funny, one of my favorite Wallflower songs actually uh, is a cover of a David Bowie song, uh, "Heroes." Oh, and he did a great version of that. It was actually absolutely amazing. I'll, I'll have to check that out. I haven't heard that. Yeah, he did Heroes. is really, really good. I think it was, yeah. for, it was probably for a movie or something. Maybe King yeah. Kong or one of those movies. King Kong. All right, we have, we have a question from the, uh, from the audience. Uh, Calvin wants to know, what do you listen to now? Like, what's, on your, what's, what's in, your, in your CD player? I, I won't say iPod because mm -hmm. you probably don't have an iPod. Actually, I actually do have one of those. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> I have a yes. little shuffle, one of the little shuffles, you know. Hey, um, it, it counts. <laughs> you want, you I'm actually, who are, who are some of the people you listen I'm to? listening to right now, I have uh, the new Springsteen album, uh, we, uh, Wrecking Ball, in it, uh, which I think is, is, is you know, it, at first I heard it and I was like, eh, but the more I've listened to it, I, I, it's just, there's great songwriting on there. I'm listening to yeah. an old Lucinda, William al Lucinda Williams album. Called Essence. Um, that's the name of the album. Uh, Emmy Lou Harris, uh, Red Dirt Girl, I'm listening to a lot. Um, and then I have uh, what else am I listening to on there? Uh, a little, a little Anthony, a, a little Anthony Feliciano. I was just saying, oh, <laughs> Jeff Scott. He's got some Jeff Scott on there. <laughs> and and I'm listening to uh, Danielle Lenoir as well on there, who's a Canadian uh, singer songwriter and. It, People, he's more famous for his producing. You know, he produced okay. a lot early. He produced the Joshua Tree for U2. Oh, uh, I love that album. He, he, he did, um, uh, gosh, he just did Neil Young, Noise for, for Neil Young. He's done, he won a Grammy with Emmy Harris. So anyway, that's who I'm listening to right now. <laughs> cool. No, there's, no, there's no Brian Adams on there? No, no Brian Adams. No Canadian Love? No, no Brian Adams. <laughs> I like Brian Adams. Oh, he's great. My first yeah. concert I ever saw. I listened to him all the time growing up. Yeah, I like Richard Marks too. He's around. He's like the same same era. Yeah, right. He, but, but, right here, waiting was like one of my favorite songs, man. Of course it was. Love that song. <laughs> of course it was. I'm always right here waiting. You are such a girl. God damn it. God damn it. Another well, let, let me ask a, let me ask another question from the audience. Yeah, yeah. Um, Jay Jay Sal wants to know what's the craziest thing you've seen a member of the audience do while you were performing, Be besides um, mentioning your eyebrows. <laughs> what's the craziest thing someone's done? 
Wow. Mm -hmm. um, it, like in a hangout or? In no, 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 just, just in a sh while you're performing, period, whether it be in a hangout or at Go Googies or wherever. Wow, that's... Uh... Any bras on stage? Any? Uh... No, no, but I, I, I was playing in a hangout show and... and, and some guy was trying to sing with me, and his mic wasn't muted, and he was banging his tambourine, and I, and I couldn't focus because it was so loud. I, 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 was a, <laughs> but not Why do I feel like I was in that hangout? There's been some trolls come in, you know, and I've done public shows, and mm -hmm. uh, they're interesting. <laughs> they come in and start muting. One came in and muted my mic. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, there, there, there's actually a new a new extension called um auto. It's um called unmute. It's well, it's uh it's auto unmute, and uh Muhammad came up with it. So like you can't get muted. It it's a it's a button that you press, and whenever somebody tries to mute you, it automatically yeah. unmutes unmutes you. Oh. So that would be actually good for someone like you that, <laughs> that you know performs well. that performs in hangouts. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, I'm sorry I didn't have a more exciting story, but <laughs> I, I I had a I had a girl try to pull my pants down before. No, you didn't. At a show. Yeah, I, I swear to God, I swear to God, I was on stage and um, I was I was in a group at the time and I started singing and a bunch of girls came running forward I'll to the stage. To you. No, actually, <laughs> we were singing "End of the Road." We were singing "End of the Road." So cl close enough, and she came. She was going like this to my pants, and then she pulled them down. Oh my God! Come on! I swear to God, true story. Oh God! What were I you wearing? Pajamas? A mustache? Well, well I was, I was, <laughs> this was this was like this was like ninety three, ninety four. So I had the baggy jeans, you know. Oh yeah. So <laughs> that's hysterical. All right, wait. I want I want to do a little thing with with Ryan real fast. I'm gonna, do five five of these, all right? I'm yeah. gonna say I'm gonna say two names, and you're gonna say you're gonna pick one of them. Sophie's choice. So okay. so I'll say I'll say two things. You pick one. You ready? I hope I know the names. All right, we'll we'll we'll, we'll <laughs> see. If you don't, I'll, I'll tell you who they are. You ready? All right. Yeah. Steven Seagal, Katie Seagal. Uh, I know Steven Seagal. I don't know Katie. Katie Seagal is Peg Bundy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think I said Steven Seagal. <laughs> All right, Miley Cyrus, Miley Cyrus, or Billy Ray Cyrus? <laughs> uh, Miley Cyrus. Katy Perry or Steve Perry? <laughs> uh, Steve Perry. Bono or Sting? Bono. Johnny Walker, Luke Skywalker. <laughs> <laughs> or Moonwalker. <laughs> Luke Skywalker. <laughs> All right, last one. Bruce Leroy or Bruce Lee? Bruce Lee. <laughs> nice. Anthony or Scott? <laughs> Wait, what? Coffee or tea? No, we're done. <laughs> <laughs> we could do this all day. We could. Ryan, we could. Ryan, why don't you give us a song, dude? Why? What, what do you want to hear? Well, I know what I want to hear, but I think it's Anthony. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me go. Let me go. Let me go. I like I I I'll, I'll take a little brighter than the sun action. Good, because that's the one I want to hear. The whole oh damn thing. Oh my god, you put me on the spot. I never play that song. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> then you got to do some brilliant too. Uh, if I can remember the words.
somehow make a break in finding something brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun. Brighter than the sun. I'm still searching for something brighter than the sun. Why do you keep doing a short version? God damn it. I want to hear the whole thing. No, that's good. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. So, that was really good. I, I have a quick question. Have you ever forgotten the words to any of your songs, like, while you're performing? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't you know. know. Like, why, why do you think I'm only singing half this song? <laughs> <laughs> I was actually you know, going to uh, ask that same question. There, there's been quite a few times on stage... Uh, my mind's drifted, and uh, I, I kind of went, oh, oh, what's what's the next line? Uh, what's the next <laughs> line? And uh, if that happens, you just go into the next verse that you remember, or uh, you know, you just kind of that's mumble. What the harmonica is for. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that's why you learn how to play the harmonica. That's right. The harmonica buys you some time. <laughs> that's oh yeah, it happens all happens all the time. Yeah. And I'm one that, I, if I'm learning, especially cover songs, I like to oh. memorize the words. I don't like to have any sort of lyric sheet or oh, anything. Oh, no, yeah, you lose, a, lose your place and you're screwed. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> I, I really work hard if I'm, you know, on a live show to, to memorize the words. To it, it just makes it more personal if you're staring at a sheet of paper looking at the words. Right. There's some right. kind of disconnection between you and the audience. Maybe. It is. Oh hell yeah! No, I completely understand. Uh, I've I've done that plenty of times where I I forget the uh, the lyrics. I hate that. <laughs> I did but that. And, and, and it's harder for me because I don't have a harmonica. <laughs> and and I don't and I don't play anything. So if I'm getting lost, whoever's playing for me, it, it just turns into a clusterfuck. I guess. I don't know. True true story for me. I I was playing a song, and it was called it was called Glass Bottom Boat, and I couldn't remember the last verse. And the chords were very similar to uh, "It's Not Unusual," so so I went into a little Tom Jones. <laughs> and my wife's looking at me like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> and I was like, you know, I was, I was getting my cart my my, uh, my little Carlton <laughs> Will Smith on, you know, it's like, <laughs> "It ain't unusual to be loved by anyone." <laughs> <laughs> it was like I had nothing else. I'm like, and, and in my head I'm saying, is this really what you're doing? You're going into this on your closing song? Like it was my last song. I'm like, this is such a bad idea. <laughs> by, by, by the way, you guys like my T-shirt? I bought this yesterday. Oh, there oh, you go, dude. Why did you put your face on your T-shirt? That's weird. I have no. That's, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's baby Nate. Baby Nate. <laughs> I, I haven't seen that. I haven't seen that movie in years. Yeah, me neither. It's been a while. Such a good movie. It's been a while. Yo, yeah. yo, Ryan. Yeah. Yo, what what ice cream flavor would would best describe you and why? <laughs> Vanilla. No. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and why vanilla? And you think I'm joking? <laughs> uh, I would say. Uh, You know, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about putting your eyes. I don't know what flavor of ice cream. Uh, I, I, I'll, say, I'll say maple. I'll say maple walnut. How about that? <laughs> I need that's to pure say. Canadian, right there. Sorry, that, that's, that's pure syrup, right there. Pure, pure, pure Canadian. <laughs> that's a good answer. That's a good answer. <laughs> I got some. I got some other ones, but I'm gonna let. I'm gonna let Anthony. Uh, what 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 ice cream flavor would I be? I'm trying to think. Oh, butter butter pecan, because butter pecan reekin. Butter pecan reekin. <laughs> that's it. That, that's, that's an easy one. That's it. That's it. That's it. Hala hala. That's it. Butter. That's interesting. Hey hey um. Uh, what's your name again? Ryan. 
do you still do you still get nervous before a show? Oh, of course. Yeah. But that that's a good that's that's always a good thing because the juices are flowing and the energy you know the adrenaline's yeah. pumping and uh, you know once you get that first song under your belt it's just you know smooth sailing after that but oh yeah yeah you get butterflies when you you take you, you want everything to go right you're hoping everything works right <laughs> right yeah. it's it, it's it's really um, I think it's really it gets you more nervous the more people you have involved. Like if you're playing with a band. Oh sure. Like well, I think. I mean, I, think I mean, if, if it's if it's just you, you just have to worry about you messing up. Yeah, but that's yeah. it though. That that's the pressure of by yourself is you you've got to keep the crowd in it when you're by yourself. When you have a band, you yeah, can true. kind of rely on other people and the whole sound of it all. But when you're I, by yourself, yep. it's like I got to keep these people awake somehow. <laughs> <laughs> I always, I always rather be on stage with somebody than be alone. Cause, you know, if you screw up, somebody can fix it. Or you know, yeah. there's not as much attention on you. You know, yeah. Like you break a string, you're screwed. Yeah. Yeah, it's now, true. Now you'll no. be on stage all by yourself. And be like, holy shit, are they looking at my eyebrows? Yeah. <laughs> like, hey, I, I was, I was keeping them in check. On my <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's awesome. Well, you could, you could just play harmonica the whole time too. I guess, right? <laughs> Just go crazy. Yeah, I I, I'm tr I I started to teach myself the you know trying to teach myself blues harmonica, and then I kind of fell off the bandwagon. I need to get on back on the down. So that's awesome. So Ryan, uh, if you could go to any place on the earth, right, and stay yep. there for the rest of your life, where would you go and why? Because you've been a, you've been all over the place. You yeah, I mean, obviously my answer would be you know I'd go back home to be with my family, but. Uh, <laughs> If you didn't have any family, <laughs> yeah, I would go. I, I think I, I I'd love to go to New Zealand. Uh, I've never been there, but I uh, uh, I think if I could go any place, it'd be Hawaii. Hawaii, just veg out I, I there. I love it. It's beautiful there. I mean, it's just truly paradise. It's just amazing place. I need to get I need to get to Hawaii. We're, we've been yeah. talking about that for uh, for I quite heard, a while. I heard, I heard Hawaii is expensive. Is it expensive? Yeah, the food because you know everything is important. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But Anthony, nothing's expensive for you, dude. You get everything for free. Yeah, and free. <laughs> that's true. Nothing's yeah. expensive when it's yeah, free. Yeah, if, if I went, I would, I would want to. Uh, you know, first of all, if you're living, you're living there for. You know, you would live among not the tourists. You would live with the locals, and you would find oh, a way. Sure. to Find the foods and and stuff like that instead of spending tourist prices and stuff. But that's a uh, that's yeah. a nice nice place. I would like to go there as well. I want to uh, I want to update my hate right now. You want to update your hate? I want to update my hate because I want I want to ask Ryan what he hates and stuff like that too. So let's let's all right. Let's, let's update some hates. So Ryan, you start off. Oh, so segment. you're gonna ask me first? <laughs> so, okay, no, you think about it. We'll 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 say we'll tell you guys a couple of hates. We'll do our segment, and then you'll okay. we'll give you something to think about what you hate. All okay. right. All right, so uh, Anthony, you want to go first? Or you want me to read? Um, go. Uh, okay, this is just in. Um, I hate the phone, and I hate when people who are completely aware of that call me up just to chat. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty retarded. Um, that's not politically <laughs> correct. I apologize for that to any retarded people watching right now. I'm sorry. That's right. You're not retarded. Uh, that's right. We we are. We are though. We are. We are. Um, yeah, that, that's. You are. <laughs> oh right. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's true. Uh, um, yeah, that is terrible. You know, like it's kind of like uh, thirty texts going through your phone. Like God, I'm Ryan Van Sickle. I only have like five numbers here. I have to keep pressing them three hundred times. This is not a touch screen. <laughs> Stop texting me and call. Hey, fortunately, I don't get any phone calls. So I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, hate, I hate when I text somebody and they call me back. <laughs> yeah. Yo, dude, what's going on? Don't call me. They, want, they just want to hear your voice. Come on. I guess so. I guess so, but I text you for a reason because I don't want to hear your voice. <laughs> you sound like a bird. <laughs> All right, here's, another, here's another hate. Here's another hate. Before Anthony embarrasses me or something, I was uh, gonna embarrass you, I, I right? So. 
<laughs> I hate when I get home from a shitty day and I don't have any weed left or any money to get more. Well, that, that's was, that, was that for Mandy? That's, oh, shit. No, oh, I, Pat Robertson. I was going to say, you know, dude, we <laughs> talked about this. Start growing that shit, dude. No, you know what? If, if, uh, he could just uh, get a prescription, right? Yeah, well, if he's, in, if he's in the... I don't know where he's from, whoever this was that wrote in. Yeah, that's true. Um, that's true. If he's in California, he can. That's for sure. Why? Yeah, Would you live anywhere else? Move to Canada. <laughs> is, is, is marijuana right. legal in Canada as well? Medicinal. What are we doing here? <laughs> why, why am I in New York? <laughs> um, so, Ryan, that's, that's two hates right there. Like, give, us, give us something that you hate. Like, is there anything that you hate? Okay, well, speaking of phones, I hate when you're, 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 you're on a bus or train and, and, or you're, you know, and somebody's talking on their phone or on the sidewalk, and they have it on, like, that walkie-talkie, speaking of old, walkie-talkie. You mean speaker, <laughs> speaker, speaker phone? Yeah, and, and, and they're talking out loud. And, and the, the person, I can hear the person's talking on the other end, and it goes, bleep, bleep. When they're talking. Oh, yeah, it is walkie talkie, yeah. Oh, like this? I, I just want to take their phone and throw it across the street, and that drives me crazy. Yeah. Like this way. Ryan, do you hear ah. people walkie talkie you? <laughs> it didn't come through. It didn't come through. Uh, <laughs> hala, hala. Hala, hala, wait, it's frozen. Hala. It's frozen. <laughs> I Darn. can't stand that. <laughs> Boxer. They have an app now just for people like you that it, they want it to drive you crazy. <laughs> Let's make an app. It's called Why Will We Make an App to Ball? Oh, that, 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 why do I, why, first of all, I don't want to hear you talking, let alone <laughs> the other end of the phone. <laughs> right. Now I have to hear this whole conversation about nothing. Well, now. Did it come through? Anthony's phone is broken. <laughs> You, were you know what? On that, on that, on that note, yeah, I hate when you're in the same room and people are like, are, are writing on Facebook or, or or Google Plus to each other, or like texting each other in the same room, like, "Hey Ryan, your eyebrows look great today." <laughs> Thanks, dude. They're going exceptionally high this morning. Hey, hey Ryan, can you sing "Into the Night"? <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude, I, I can do that. <laughs> That, you should do that. You should have a, 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 a show where you're on stage and people have to text you what songs they want you to play next. <laughs> and that's a good idea. It's kind of you interesting. Know what, you know what? Cal, Cal, Calvin did a, a, has a great update, My Hate. Well, let's hear I, it. I, I, think, I think it's a, it's a, it's a stab at us. I, I hate oh. when my technology doesn't work when I'm trying to make a joke to Ryan Van Sickle. <laughs> now, now, if you guys don't know Calvin, Calvin is, uh, well, first of all, he's a record holder for the, the longest hangout, something like 70, right. 70 days, something like that. Uh, and, and also, Calvin is, is the whispering black man. So yeah. Cal Calvin's at work, he's and, black. and he's like, hey, guys, I just got a Coke for a quarter out of my vending machine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at, at his at his job, the vending machines, everything in the vending machine is is a quarter. Wow. And, yeah, isn't that ridiculous? I would buy out that vending machine and sell them outside for fifty cents. <laughs> 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 now there's an idea. There's an idea, Calvin. Work on that. Come on, man. I'm partner though. You you can't keep all the profit. That was my idea. <laughs> That's my idea. Um. But yeah, what would we say? One more song, maybe? Another song, Anthony? Yeah, why not? What, 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 you want to hear half of a song? <laughs> no, I want a whole damn song. I want you to sing White Wedding by Billy Idol and make the face. Okay. All right. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> there it is. There, there it is. <laughs> Ryan is Billy Idol when he was young, but with, without White Wedding. Then I, I have to, like, get, you know, you know get yeah. my hair all... Yeah, yeah, there you there go. You go. <laughs> the Brooklyn Bridge. Blue all right, what... what <laughs> what, do you, what, 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 do you, what do you want to hear? Whoa, look at that. What do you want to hear? I, I mean, Anthony, you have a request? I mean, I would go with Into the Night if it was up to me, but... But, Anthony? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Can we get more than, like, uh, like, like, like 45 seconds, though? Yeah, I'll play. I'll play a little. Yeah! <laughs> First of all, the story about the song... 
for those people that don't know, I actually wrote it in New York City, and uh, I, I saw these uh, <clears throat> two people. It was early in the morning. I was going for a run, and, and uh, they were coming out of a hotel room, and it was quite obvious it had been a one-night stand. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Walk of shame. Walk of shame. Yeah, so uh, it's about a one-night stand. <laughs> Is that what it's about? That's yeah. great. I'm so glad I know that. <laughs> now I will enjoy the song even more. Exactly. <laughs> Neon sun shining through the hotel window. Empty bottle on the night standing radio playing. Watch you breathe and dream into the night. Pull you close, I can feel your heartbeat. Cool and blow in the touch of your warm skin. And all the troubles of the world, they fade away. Into the night, we're falling angels treading to the night. We're burning desires fade, and desperate lovers break the chain around their heart. Into the night, where darkness keeps its home. Into the night, where lost souls drift alone. And they chase their dreams. They still chase their dreams into the night. Your body glows in the pale summer moonlight, like stars in the ancient midnight sky. Outside cars rush by into the night. They're riding that highway of broken dreams out alone. Holding on to the promised daylight brings. I close my eyes and drift away. Into the night, we're falling names just tread into the night. With burning desires fed, and desperate lovers break the chains around their hearts. Into the night, where darkness keeps its soul. Into the night, where lost souls drift alone, and they chase their dreams. They still chase their dreams. Yes, soon the sun will rise, bring you a new day. Night is flame is fading, but we'll find a way to keep the fire burning. Just close your eyes and keep believing. Let's go to even, baby. Let's go to even. Awesome, awesome. If I had a bra, I'd throw it, but I don't. <laughs> now, now I, you know what? I, can, I like the song even more now because I know what it's about. <laughs> my, my, my favorite part has to be Into the Night Where Burning Desires Fed. <laughs> yeah. And desperate lovers break the chains around their heart. That's right. <laughs> break the chains! <laughs> I, would, I would like to be somebody's one night stand. No. I was, yeah. I'm sure. I've been used. 
That's a great song title right there. I've been used, or <laughs> I'd like to be somebody's one night stand. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> that could be the title of my next album. <laughs> That's, cool. a, that's a great Tom Jones song title. <laughs> yeah, <there you> <laughs> <laughs> I'll close it. That's not unusual. That's right. <laughs> not unusual to me, love. Bye. <laughs> um, so, uh, so, so, uh, wait, wait, what do you, Ryan, so, I mean, I feel like we're, we're, uh, closing, closing shop in a few. We're closing shop, but I want I want to ask a couple more questions. Maybe talk about a couple more things. We'll, we'll, we'll speed it up a little bit. Um, yeah. This is this is a question for Ryan, for us. So so if we switch places, Ryan, me and Anthony, yeah. and, and where are you, right? Is is there a question that you would want to ask us? Maybe uh you know. Now I'm I'm we're we're, we're the artist now. Like what what would you ask? What would I ask? <laughs> Well, we are artists, I guess. We we are, yes. Yeah, you guys do, you guys are artists. But we're not the important artists right now. That's uh, right. If you could, if you could, only have there's only one album that you could have in your collection for the rest of your life. What would it be, and why? Huh, oh, let's see. I I yeah, got one. Really? I, my my would have to be a Boyz II Men album. Oh my God. It, it, it are you? Have to be you have what? a vagina on under your shorts right now. I do, and it's wet right now. Oh my God! Somebody, somebody. It's where it's where burning desires fed. Oh my God! Into the night, dude. <laughs> no, but um, their 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 second album, the one with uh, "I'm Bending Knee" and "I'll Make Love to You" and yeah. "Water Runs Dry." Those are some great songs. And and they did um, "Yesterday" up there. They did an a cappella version of "Yesterday" by the Beatles. That but, was. But the question I ask is why though? Why that album? Um, well, because, well, they're, they're my idols, I guess. Um, yeah. uh, the, the, the album has a, has a lot of emotion in it. And, um, uh, I don't know. I, 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 I there, every song on there is, well, almost every song up there, on there is a classic. I'm Bending Knee, everybody knows that. Yeah. I'll Make Love to You, everybody knows that. Water Runs Dry, everybody knows that. All the, the, the writing was, was really Done well on this album. They they worked with um they worked with Babyface and um Jimmy Jam and Terry Lewis, and and, and Babyface is an is an excellent writer. Oh, of course. And he 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 wrote I'll Make Love to You. He wrote he wrote uh Water Runs Dry. He wrote Mama for them. Um he wrote End of the Road. He did a lot of their songs and and produced them. But um yeah that that album was just great. Yeah. Well and it, and, it, and, it, and it's nostalgic I mean it it takes you someplace when you listen to it, it takes you yeah absolutely <laughs> uh, for me it's a little less gay um, <laughs> no offense to, to the, uh, the gay followers and, and watchers Anthony is just he's not out yet but I think he is now I wish cell phones <laughs> had vibrate <laughs> oh they did but I was walkie talkie with you <laughs> I turned it back on uh, for me it would be uh, all that you can't leave behind by you two um, for, for me, that was, uh, it was, it came out in 2000, like right around the same time I met my wife and, uh, the album was just amazing. I mean, beautiful day, stuff in a moment, elevation, walk on, uh, you know, peace on earth. It was just a really, a really fantastic album. I, I think that it, uh, it would probably won a ton of Grammys or whatever, but for, for me, it just, it just reminds me of that time, like meeting my wife, uh, you two comes out with a great album, you know, you see the concert. Uh, you know the the whole peace on earth thing, and, and I remember seeing a video of of the World Trade Center done to you know the, the collapse and whatnot, done to a couple of those songs, and it was just uh, it was really moving, really touching. It just it just brings me back to that time. Not that you want to remember that that time, sure, sure, um, sure. but it was just uh, you know pretty pretty great time in my life that I didn't realize at the time was going to be awesome. Yeah. So, uh, but I mean, U2 is my favorite band of all time, but. And, and you know, I could easily say Joshua Tree or something like that, like the first songs I ever heard. Yeah. But uh, but man, that album was awesome, and it made me feel good. Still does, still does. Yeah. If you guys haven't caught U2 in uh, in concert, it's it's definitely uh, even if you're not a U2 fan. I love U2, and I you know I, I was a fan early on when I was you know young, but uh, I, I haven't caught a concert. No. I've it's never seen. Now. Oh yeah, well. 
Now, I can't see a concert unless it's, like, really good seats anymore, too. So we got to, like, <laughs> blow the pooch when we buy tickets. <laughs> blow the pooch. Blow the pooch. I just made that up. Blowing the pooch. Something that they would do. Is, uh, is, is Pooch the guy you met in prison? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You say blow <laughs> Why the pooch? would you say that? Because you, said you, gotta, cause you said you have to blow the pooch. I'm just kidding. Yeah, I would blow the pooch just to get you two tickets. <laughs> I, I have a question. I have a question. If you if you could work with any any artist, dead or alive, be, besides, besides Johnny Cash, because I, cause I, because I, I, know, I know you love Johnny Cash, besides him, who would, who would you want to work with? That, that's there's two I I can't I, I, there's not well Bruce <laughs> Bruce would be my first Bruce Wayne yeah that's awesome he has awesome. a new album coming out <laughs> <laughs> Bruce so, Wayne so Spring, just, Springsteen you talk about the boss nah, right no 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 um <laughs> <laughs> Bruce Gaba Bruce Gaba Bruce Gaba there you go God damn it you been uh, Gaba <laughs> Springsteen, and then after Springsteen, it would definitely be Lucinda Williams. I was gonna say it's gonna be Lucinda Williams because he loves her. Okay. Yeah, no. I, I, I would probably, I would sell my soul to, to sing with her one time. Nice, one time, and then you want your soul back. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would, you would need your soul to sing, so. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I feel like we we should uh, wrap it up. It's getting uh, we're going on an hour and a half right now. Are we really? We're we're, we're, we're coasting. All we're right, we can, yeah, we can we can close that, that's the show. Anthony saying all the viewers have dropped. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? 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 Happened? I missed it. He said that's Anthony saying all the viewers have left. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I think they're they're still there. They're still commenting on the thread, which is which is pretty cool. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, we didn't get to talk about the house, the house series, the house concert. Yes, let's talk, talk about that. Want to talk about that real, real quick? Yeah, sure, let's sure, talk sure. about. Plug, plug, plug all your stuff. Plug all your stuff. Go. Uh, plug away. Well, the the, the uh, well, this is you know March is indie month on Google Plus or anywhere. Right? So support indie music, whether it's mine or anyone else out there, uh, or indie art in general. Mm -hmm. Please support the independent artists. Uh, you know, it's people think that we do this for fun, which we do, but we also do it. This is our job, you know. So uh, we, we need we need to put food on the table. But uh, right. the house show tour, um, it was kind of uh, you know after the hurl event in New York City and you know playing that live event and meeting everybody, it was kind of like, well, what could what could I do? That would be different, and uh, that would kind of stay along the same lines because everybody had a great time. I mean, really, I mean, it really was an incredible experience. So why not take that and and ask people on Google Google Plus if they'd invite me into their home? And I think that the thing people are, aren't understanding is uh, they think that they're going to host a hurl event in their own home, but what I meant by a hurl in your living room is you invite me into your living room, you invite your friends and your family into the living room. If there's anybody local that is on Google Plus, that you know, invite them as well. It doesn't have to be Google Plus people, but you invite mm -hmm. me into your living room. We have a show, and then we put it, you know, we we broadcast it on air, and people can watch and interact. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, we go. I'm trying to stick to the East Coast because I live on the East Coast, and uh, right. it's just easier to travel. But uh, so far we have, you know, four takers. I got a show in Ottawa. I have a show uh, in, on Long Island. <coughs> and, uh, absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. And uh, I have a show in uh, Hamilton, Ontario. And, um, gosh, I just blanked on, on, on where the other one is. That's terrible. forgot. But there's four four shows kind of in the works right now, um, but yeah. And no, no, this is gonna so take. If 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 you if, if you want me to come into your living room and play a show, you know, get the ball started, just shoot me an email. But that's kind of the the gist of the whole thing is to uh, is to not play at a venue, have it a more in, have a more intimate mm -hmm. uh, atmosphere where you know there's only twenty or thirty people in a room. Mm -hmm. um, 
and uh, we just sit around and talk, and I take requests, play music. And 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 you can do covers. Yeah. You cover. Well, you just can't. You just you just can't stream that part, I guess. <laughs> I it won't be that. on air, I guess. Um, well, that that part won't. <laughs> but I, just got, I, I just got an email, Ryan. Uh, yeah. A girl wants to know if you will do a show with your shirt off. <laughs> <laughs> he, he, he always shows a little bit anyways. Yeah, I got in a lot of trouble for that in New York City. I had too many buttons on that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, That's why I'm wearing a t-shirt today. You know. But uh, will I, 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 will, I will do a shirt... Uh, I will do a show with my shirt off for a charity if people will give money. How about that? <laughs> oh, yeah, that would be cool. That would be cool. That's awesome. I think you just put yeah. your foot in your mouth. So if anybody, <laughs> knows any, if anybody has a great charity and wants to... Uh, and it can't no, be, I'd do it. it can't sure, be why not? If, if, if I'm going to raise, if I'd raise a lot of money for a charity, I would do it, sure. The money can't go to Anthony Feliciano. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, now is, this, is this something that... Um, cause that's that's a lot of travel, dude. Like, is that something that that um, whoever's hosting it would would pay for the travel? Yeah, part of part of hosting okay. is no, no, no. I'm sorry, start all over. Part of hosting is uh, you know you invite the twenty, thirty people in, and, and uh, it, it's like a how a show right in your home. You 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 ask you people to for ten dollars a piece, and they come mm -hmm. in, and you entertain, and you know. Uh, sell some CDs and basically with that um, you know it can usually cost cover the cost and put a few dollars in my pocket to get back home. <laughs> uh, I, I think whoever's hosting should at least put you up for a night at least. Oh well, yeah, th that they usually do that. Yeah. yeah, I mean you can go on Priceline and get a, whole, a nice hotel room for about 40 bucks. Well, and if, it, if it's close to home I just hop on the train and the bus and just, you know, Go back, back home. home. Right? <laughs> I don't own a car. <laughs> yeah, but if you're if you're doing a concert, it's probably going to be in the evening. You don't want to go back home all late, you know. Sure, why not? He's a musician. That's the life dude. of a musician. You know? <laughs> so, yeah, you're you, right. You know, Ryan, remember you're talking to a guy who just who who's going to a, a deserted island with one album and he picked Boys to Men. Okay, that's so, right. <laughs> <laughs> Eleven o'clock, he turns into a pumpkin. You, you, you gotta understand. That's right. It's true. But yeah, so the house show tour is—I kind of put it in, in people's hands. I'm just putting faith in mm -hmm. people's hands and fans, and just hoping that you know they want to support. And uh, mm -hmm. and it's just—it's a way I feel like I could get everybody involved instead of me calling the shots. You know, I'll let you guys invite me if you want me to come. If not, then screw, uh, screw you. No, we'll just move on to the next thing. But I thought it was a great. I thought it'd be a great idea. Yeah, it is a great idea. You can, you can. Uh, they can email you at Ryan Van Sickle at Gmail, right? Ryan Van Sickle Music, music. at Gmail dot com. Yep. And then and all, all the all the information is on my G on the G plus. And then also, I have a new website uh, with all the information regarding the house tour and the oh, Ryan Van Sickle Music dot com. Oh, cool! And, I, and I'm sure they could leave you a private a private message on Google Plus sure. or something too, right? Yep. Yeah. And where could they buy your Where could they buy your songs, Ryan? Well, in America and the U.S., you can buy it on on Google Play now. Uh, mm -hmm. And if if you're not in the U.S., it's on iTunes and Amazon. Cool. Awesome. Cool. And I actually posted the link for the uh, for for uh, Google Play. In the stream, so yeah. and some some people were saying cool. that they already have it, so that that's that's good. That's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> that's a good sign. Now, Ryan, when 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 you come down here for Googies, are you staying in Connecticut again? Uh, yeah, because Heather and I are are, are going to play. I'm actually we're trying to figure that out. I I might open for Heather, and Heather will be the headliner that night. Okay. Um, and so I'll open for, but. I am going to be in Connecticut to rehearse because Heather and I will do a few songs together. So uh, I'm going to go to her place and stay with her family. Hello. And uh, they're calling for you. <laughs> yeah, it, it's an incoming call. Leave a question. But yeah, so I'll stay with Heather. And <laughs> they're uh, asking if you clean your carpet lately because apparently they want to <laughs> clean our carpets. So you stay with Heather for carpet, a couple of days. So I have hardwood floor, but um. Yeah, so I'll stay there for a day and then head, head into the city for the show, yeah. 
Well, just just throwing this out there, just a yep. suggestion. Yeah, I'm I'm available. <laughs> what, what What do you mean? I'm I'm available. You I can I, date with them? I can I can I can do I can do a song with you guys. Yeah, well, it, we we let's talk to Heather and we'll we'll, we'll figure that out. Because I'm right I'm right around the corner. Like I said, I don't know where she is. She's five minutes in one of these directions. <laughs> no, well, let, let's definitely do. Let's definitely do that. Yeah, I think that'll be cool. You know, and, and, and you know, I'm not just saying that because you put me on the spot. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I know I kind of well. pushed you into it. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Uh, we'll, we'll talk to we'll, we'll all, all three of us will talk and we'll see what we okay. can do. Uh, are you guys going to stream it? Uh I don't know about that. I mean, if we do, uh, we'll need someone that can run, do all the technology because it needs to run through the soundboard. What we did the last time, thank you, Bruce, Garber, and Eileen Callister. They, they, did, they did it for us, and they did a great job, but it caught so much of the crowd noise that, that you couldn't really hear it, so I think we'd have to run it through the soundboard. I, have, I don't know how to do that. I'm, I'm lost when it comes to that. Yeah, so, yeah me too. So, uh, um, so anybody that's coming to the show May 4th, 8.30 <laughs> at Googie's in New York City, if you want to do that for us... <laughs> that would be great. If you want to stream it for us, you know, the door is open. Ryan will give you an um, autograph on, on your chest. Yeah, there's a CD <laughs> in it for you. Yeah. <laughs> I'll sign a uh, guitar pick. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, All right, so Ryan, do you want to do you want to close out the show with a song? Do you pick your own song and close it out? Uh, sure. Uh. All right. So hold on, hold on, hold, hold on. on. So hold on. so, let, so let, let's let's give our info. Um, if you have any update you hate, so yeah. if you want to talk about app, apps that you have or movies, TV, celebs, whatever you guys got, um, you can send it to midlifecrisis at gmail dot com, uh, or you can uh, write it on our wall, and we'll we'll pick stuff from there. Thank you guys for watching. We appreciate it. We appreciate Thanks, Ryan, you, uh, for coming. Thanks Thank to you Ryan guys for having me. For, I for appreciate coming. it. That was great. And you, you, were, you, were, you were a pretty good guest, dude. Pretty good <laughs> yes. guest. We didn't, we good, didn't huh? make you blush too much or anything. <laughs> yeah, we, had, exactly. we had crazier questions, but we, we kept it tame for you. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, Ryan, Ryan's going to pick the next song, and uh, we're going to close out with that. So. You have guys a great have a weekend, great everybody. morning. Have a great weekend. Make sure you spring forward. Sunday you have to, well, Saturday night you have to. That's, uh, that's, the, that's the best part because, uh, you know, summer's coming and, uh, you that's know, right. we get more daylight. That's right. Hell yeah. And we won't have to go into the night anymore. We'll go into the day. <laughs> into the day. <laughs> no? That's yeah. brighter than the sun. <laughs> <laughs> The other night, dear, no, I won't do your lesson. <laughs> you are my sunshine, my only sunshine. Nice. Make me happy when the skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Don't take my sunshine away. <laughs> Is that good enough? That's I, I, it's up to you if that's if that's the song you're picking. <laughs> <laughs> it was your choice. It was guest guest choice. <laughs> All right. All right. That that's it. All right. Cool. Brian Van Sickle, Scott Firestein. Anthony Feliciano. Anthony Feliciano. Have a great day, folks. Take care, guys.